All right, guys, uh, a little bit of a different video from us today. Uh, it's Mike with Hardware Canucks, and I wanted to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you guys about some of the situations that have probably been happening in, in your lives that have impacted everything from getting your groceries and uh, God help you if you want to get some toilet paper, or in my case, where I can't visit uh, my loved ones in, in an old age home. So it's this virus that's going around and it's impacted pretty much everybody to a greater and, and lesser extent. So what I wanted to do in this video as one of the primary owners of Hardware Canucks is just talk to you guys about what you guys can do to help sort of fight this virus. The first step of that is usually understanding how the virus reacts when it enters somebody's system. And just knowing that will lead researchers down a path that can have them develop therapeutic remedies or vaccines or any other element. Now, a lot of that work is done in the lab, but it also creates a lot of data that needs to be crunched. And unfortunately, a lot of these labs and scientific institutions, they don't have the necessary processing power to actually go through all of the data that they're creating. So what they do is they take packets of information and they distribute them into distributed computing platforms. So what is a distributed computing platform? Well, what these scientists do is they put the information that they need to process into data packets that then get sent to your computer, other people's computers that have the necessary application installed in order for you to process information and send it back to them during your computer's idle times. And what that does is it allows them to process a lot more data in a shorter amount of time. One of the biggest ones right now is probably Stanford's Folding at Home initiative. And you've probably seen in the last couple of days, everybody from Intel to Nvidia to AMD and even Razer talking about how normal users can contribute to this cause. So the intent of this video is really to show you guys quickly how to set this up and contribute your own cycles if you want to, to combating this virus and at least trying to give researchers a little bit of headway into better understanding how it reacts. So the next step is us heading downstairs here at my house and I'm going to walk you through the process. It's really easy. So uh, let's get this started. So the first step is to just go to the folding at home website and download the program. I'm going to leave a link to that down below. Then you just have to start the installer and go through the express installation. It's going to process a couple of things. After that's done, you're going to be greeted with a basic web control for folding at home. You can choose to fold as either anonymous or join a team. Now, if you really want to join a team, the Hardware Canucks number is 54196. It's a team that's been around for about 13 years now. In order to do that, you would hit on change identity, put in your name, add that team number, and then request the passkey. Right now, the passkeys are super backed up, so it might be a few hours or even a few days until you get a passkey to join our team. Right next to that, you're going to see what you support in research fighting. And here there's Alzheimer's, there's cancer, there's Huntington's, and there's Parkinson's. What you don't see is this virus that we're fighting right now. Well, the Stanford team, they're prioritizing the work units for this virus as long as you have any disease selected. And that can either be processed on your CPU or on your GPU or both. Now, the incoming work unit will determine if it goes to your CPU or GPU. There's also a power slider. And that power slider, if you put it to full, it's going to be using the full resources of your system or as much as it can. That's an interesting thing if you wanted to really dedicate 100% of your processing power to folding at home. On the other hand, medium and light will really, really balance system power with folding resources. Right next to that too is when you want to start folding. And sometimes, you know what, if you want to work and have this running on your system at the same time, you would go while I'm working. But then there's also the option to run this only when your system's at idle, which is really nice if you know, your system is standing idle while you're sleeping or something like that, and you can have it processing through these work units. But what I prefer is I prefer the advanced control. And in order to find that, you would go into your system tray, double click on the folding icon, and open up advanced control. What that's going to do is it's going to pop up another window that has a lot more information for you. Here you can go into the configuration and basically do the exact same things that you can in the web control. I personally like this a lot better because the web control takes up a lot more system resources, especially if you're using Chrome. So here you can really focus directly on folding. The main window though, what it shows is if you're online, which is great, right now we're online and we're waiting for a work unit to come down through the pipeline, but we're inactive. As long as this online is green and it doesn't say offline, in, in red or something else in yellow, you're good to go. So right now this system is waiting for one of those work units to come in and start processing on 
the CPU or the GPU. One thing you need to be aware of right now is that there's so many people that are using this folding at home application to help combat this virus that it takes a little bit longer for these work units to come in. But once they do, you're gonna see that it's been downloaded and that progress has started. All right, so while my main system waits for a work unit to start chewing on, I just wanted to show you guys what it's supposed to look like. And this is a razor blade 13 that I've had chewing through these work units for about two days now. So here you can actually see that it's running through one on the CPU and on the GPU. So that's good, they've been assigned. And I think that pretty much covers everything about how to set this up. I just wanted to remind you guys, all the links are gonna be in the description below for the downloads of this, not only that, but for the Hardware Canucks folding team on our forums. They are an amazing community. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out over there. And I guess there you have it. Um, the only thing that I really wanted to end with here is uh, just to wish all of you guys the best health from everybody here at the Hardware Canucks team. Uh, Eber, who's behind the camera right now, Dimitri, Snows from our Boot Sequence channel, and everybody else who's members of the team. Uh, our hearts and minds go out to everybody, and hopefully this video will allow you to feel like you're contributing to a great cause. So take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.